in a moment. He's a former scholar of St. Paul's uh, St. Paul's College, uh, which is now Mawson Lake. Hold he that used to catch the, uh, the F bus. His older brother played for North. Um, he gave me a chocolate donut when he was in year five. I've never forgotten him for that. Thank you very much. Let me introduce uh, the great man, Coach Eagle Farm, Wayne Niles. Thanks, guys. How are you? No worries. Yeah, you great. Yeah, no All right. Now, Niles, uh, the season didn't start probably uh, perfectly, but it's starting to get a bit of form up the sleeve now, and uh, things are looking a lot better. Yeah, yeah, the season probably didn't pan out what we were expecting. Um, it was, you know, like we weren't expecting to be premiers or anything like that, and we know we're going through a real bit rebuilding stage. But, um, yeah, certainly that first game against the Uni was uh, built up to be a fairy tale and turned into a bit of a nightmare. Yep. Mm. Yeah, look, because this is your first time on the show, just actually uh, clarify some of the details, like, were a bit sketchy there. The, the, the juniors from, from St Paul's, when you left St Paul's, uh, how did your footy career pan out? Where did you go well, and where did you play? I played all my junior footy at Ingle Farm, played 134 games there. Um, then I left there and went out to Two Wells, I was playing out at, um, in the Adelaide Plains League for a few years. Um, out there, then uh, up to Snowtown. Played up in Snowtown for a couple of years. What years were you in Snowtown? No, Barrel times. Ninety. Sean Disbury was coaching us up there. Um, Ninety four five. That was around Barrel times, wasn't it? Mm, Ninety four five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, then from there, I had a few years off. Um, struggled with a bit of injury. Uh, went to South Brogan Hill and played in the 06 Premiership up there. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Then yeah, come back to Adelaide. Uh, Started or well, come back to Adelaide, played a couple of games at Tetra Gully, but my, I had an air reconstruction. Um, I had an air reconstruction and never really got over that. Um, then, yeah, went out and coached the C grade at Parry Hills, B grade the following year, and then, uh, yeah, come back to Ingle Farm. Really, back home where it all started from. Yeah. Um, yeah. Interestingly enough, the first time I ever stepped foot on a uh, training track was at Ingle Farm, some th oh, it's over 30 years ago now, so. Like yourself, a uh, good St Paul's boy, started at <coughs> Ingle Farm. So, uh, Can't remember the chocolate donut thing, though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the tennis court. So. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember them days when I, yeah. I yeah, you that. had a two pack. And you said, I'm going to be able to eat both of these. Do you want one? Maybe, maybe, both, though. maybe you should have paid a favour. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it was a favour. Yeah, uh, we used to catch, I used to have a massive crush on a girl on the bus stop. Anyway, let's talk about footy. Yeah. Remember Jane? Remember Jane? Oh, yes. Yeah, she was a snake, wasn't she? Uh, no, no, yes, yes, yes. No, my brother could probably tell you a bit more about her. He was, uh, He's married. He was around his age. Was he putting her away? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to go down that track. Yeah. Hey, uh, tell me, uh, Junior's Lingle Farm. All of a sudden, Ray McCard, I know Ray pretty well. Uh, Ray and Chris have worked pretty hard and have finally got Junior's back in there. And there's some good Junior's coming through. We've, um, yeah, we've got some good kids. Um, old Rockhard McCarty, yeah, he's, him and Chris do a great job at yeah. the club. Um, um, Russ, Russ waving his arms around out there. Um, yeah, no, we've got some really... Uh, we had to drop the 18s this year, we couldn't get enough with the numbers, which seems to be a, a common problem through all yeah. clubs. Yeah, six seen. clubs did the same. Doesn't matter yeah. what, what level you are, whether you did one. We were did one or two and we dropped ours. Yeah, yeah. We, well, six clubs this year dropped out. Six of them? Yeah. Yeah. I think they need to go back to the 17s. 17, 16, 17 format yeah. myself. So do I. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, we've got a, couple, a lot of young kids that are playing at North and Port and places like that. I know there's a few Greenacres boys have gone over there, uh, Brett Benier and uh, Peter and uh, uh, Slugger, uh, Troy Williams. And there's a few over there that have gone over there and they're coaching and uh, helping out with the young kids. And uh, they're pretty good footballers, so the future looks good. But it's going to take a while, isn't it? Well, yeah, it is. Like I said, I, I didn't expect to come in and create miracles mm -hmm. you know, as, as much as you'd like to. Um, but like, if you look at our A-grade side today, I think I've got about 15 or 16 blokes that are under 22. Yeah. And, you know, there's eight, I think, that have played 18s last year. So, yeah. you know, the future does look good for us, but it's, we it's just have to be patient. It's a pretty good lend uh, there of uh, players. You know, you've got some big guys up forward. Yep. You can take a grab. You've got a few runners. There's just uh, probably two or three guys, experienced guys around the track. I mean, last week you come over um, Central United, Dutchies boys, and I thought uh, they would have won. Um, but you've knocked them off. You've knocked off Warson Lake. So you knocked off a couple of top no, sides. We didn't knock off Warson Lake. No, lost by a goal. Lost, oh, lost, lost five points. Lost he kicked nine, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah, kicked nine. He's yeah. gone for the year? Yeah, he's done for the yeah. year. Hey, let's just go over last week's results. It's actually a really interesting round because, as Dave just uh, sort of said, it, it kind of didn't go as planned and uh, team swap position. So I'll just get you to comment on each game, each result, mate, because you've seen them many, many times. First one, um, Black. Blackfriars, 13, 12, 90, defeating Lockley's 10, 9, 69. Uh, it was a big game for both clubs and 
Black Friday's getting the chocolates. I rate both them teams, I really yeah. do. Um, Lockley's, Lockley's have probably had a, you know, the last couple of weeks have been a bit poor. Um, results haven't gone their way, but they've got a good mix of, um, of big blokes and small blokes, and, and they've got a, a good sized midfield, I think. And um, Harry Giorgio and blokes like that, Sean Stormouth, um, you know, I think, I reckon they're the real deal. It's funny, Dean, we had Dean Anderson on a couple of weeks ago, and Dean said the same thing that he rated Lockley's yeah. uh, pretty good side. They just haven't put it together. Uh, yeah. Mind you, having said that, they're eight and five. They're a game off, um, a game off second. They would have been in second had they won that game. So they're 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 there and thereabouts certainly. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Brett being Brett's first year down there too, it's it's always tough to. Yeah. I reckon they're um, out of all the teams, Lockley's the one that I rate. Right. Are on the go. All right, we'll uh, jump down, we'll come back to yours. Uh, Mawson Lakes 11 20 86, Houghton District's five straight goals. Uh, I guess Mawson Lakes really needed to come up against Houghton District, so yeah, so. Having a rough trot, yeah, well, about time Jeff would have had a smile on his face. Yeah. Um, would have been, you know, I made a bit of a comment the other day, someone was, um, someone from Mawson Lakes was saying something on the forum about us, and I said, Well, if you put it in perspective, we've both won the same amount of games in the last month. Mm. <laughs> oh, Riddler would have loved that. Oh. I love it. Um, yeah, probably the upset of the round, uh, although... Yes. Well, it is the upset of the round. Uh, so that now they're in, uh, I think, the Leapfrog uh, Century United. Trinity 10-11-71, beating Woody South 10-6-66. It's a big win. One. Big win for Trinity. Yeah, Trinity, that's a massive win. Um, Scotty would be real real proud of that, but it's always a tough trip to go out to Trinity out there. Yeah. I remember even at f in school footy when we played first 18, to go out to, out to Gawler and play out there yeah. um, was always, you know, Big it's only Gawler, but it just seems to take a little bit out of you. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, and the walk from the change rooms to the over, it's, it's a completely different dynamic yeah. to what you're used yeah. to. Um, I would think uh, Bomber would have been upset with it, but uh, at the end of the day, they're still top and... Uh, I think he's cruising. Well, yeah, Trinity I'll... needed to win that one. Now their their percentage is good, and I mean they're only one game off third. So well, Woody says Woody says our class. There's no doubt about that, and it might be the kick in the ass that they need yeah. to make them really think that okay, we've got to switch on now. Oh, hang on back to earth. Hang on, Wayne just oh. said ass. Hang on. We wish to advise that some of the contents of this program may be considered offensive and may not be suitable for all listeners. Shit, Wayne, what's your language? Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Right. And uh, like, uh, Colonel Lake Gardens, 14-10 uh, over Adelaide Uni. Predictable uh, uh, result, I would have thought there. And Colonel Lake Gardens are moving along pretty well. You don't know what you're going to get with Uni week in, week out. That's the thing. Mm. Snow season. Yeah. Rabbit season. Yeah. Duck season. And the last one, um, well, the one we got all excited about, uh, yeah. Ingle Farm, 16-8-104, Century United, 15-7-97. Tell us a little bit about how that one played out. Um, basically, like I said to the boys before the game, there's no doubt that Century United were going to come out and be you know, be hard at it, um, give it all they got there for the first five minutes. So we had to counteract that. And um, much credit to my boys, they were we just wanted it more all day. Um, got quite nerve wracking there towards the end because we've lost so many games by such a short amount, as you know, under ten points. Um, but we, you know, we just... We're up at three quarter time? No, we're down. Okay, so you come from... We come back, game. yep. Um, we're up, down at quarter time, up at half time, down at three quarter time, and then, yeah, we come home and... Well, you would have got good odds at the bookies for that when you, when, the, when you change the lead. Yeah, well, you know, but honestly, the Mark Smart's 200th, it's a big occasion. Yep. Um, Thanks for that text last yeah, week. No well. mm -hmm. um, yeah, Mark Smart's 200th, and, you know, and that's what it was all about, really, was to uh, you know, show a bit of respect where respect is due. Yeah. I must admit, uh, Goodsey, Naylor Jonesy, Santa Cock, the Torsen. Now, I know a Torsen that played for Green Acres years ago, yes. Leon. This isn't Leon, it must be a nephew. No, it's Luke. And there was Luke. Alan as well, I played against yeah. Alan Torsen. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it must be Alan's son. Luke played out of... No, not Alan's son. No. Alan's my age. Well, they no, no, have children. What, which Torsen did you know? Uh, Leon. Yeah, no, I, and I played against Alan, so... Uh, so I, yeah, I know well, he's Darren Torsen's ne um, nephew. Yeah. He played at Ingle Farm. Oh, no, Darren. Not yeah. Leon. Darren Torsen. Yeah. yeah. They're all indigenous. So right? it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mother's um, uh, Sheila, New Church. Yeah. Uh, or was it New Church? Married to Leon, who's the father. Yeah. Leon Torsen. Nice family. Yeah. Um, Luke's fitting in really well. He's um, mates with Benny Smart. Come out from, he played at Port and at uh, Salisbury North. Mm -hmm. And um, he come out, yeah. And, 
pre-season and yeah, he's fitting in really well. Darren wasn't a bad. I always loved him as a footballer. Hell, he was hard at it, but he gives so much crap to the uh, whoever his player is yeah. standing. I think that might be a tools and trade actually. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Uh, he's in WA these days, so that was pretty good. Uh, Tell us good, uh, uh, games. Oh, a few. Uh, I mean, we've seen a few different names bob up this year. Uh, Nick Leach kicking nine in the game. Okay, he's, a, he's a gun from the midfield as well. Who else has stood up for you this year? Who's uh, sort of announced themselves that they're going to be around for a while? We can find. Um, one that sticks to mind to me is Shane Collins. Um, did a hammy last week and was a big loss. But um, Shane's been really good this year. Um, you can't go past all Stevie Gannon, our ruckman. Mm. If I could have you know, have a team of Steve's, I'd be really happy. Um, you know, Brad Sando's been good at times. Um, he's you know, he had to pay a bit of a punishment last week because he got a yellow card the week before, and now there's a rule in place in the club that if you get a yellow card, that's a straight away one week suspension. Um, What's the yellow card? Ten minutes. Is yeah. It? Yeah. Gee, that, that's a bit harsh. Some Just of the young kids are given out pretty oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, for something. The oh shit. And I said. In relation to that, that rule applies to was did you is it correct for you as behavioural behaviour behavior um, acts the community got and we spoke about some of the dramas that we had and is that have been arising year in, year out, and yep. we have got everyone to sign a code, a code of conduct. A code of conduct, that's yep. brilliant work, mate. That impressed um, me so much. That's, well, that's you awesome. know, I'm, I'm really passionate about the club. I, you know, I, I played my junior footy there, my brother plays junior footy there, mum and dad would be part of the club in the 80s. Yep. And we really need to turn this club around because otherwise, you know, it would be sad to say that we won't have a club. Yep. You know? um, yep. And we, we, there's a lot of people that are working there, get that morning ready, asses off <laughs> to make sure that this club's around for a long time. And yeah, those people um, include like your Nana Pikes and, and, yeah. and a few others? Yeah. Chris, is a, she just keeps going. Yeah. Spend her 30s you want to ring, you may as well ring Eagle Farm Football Club. That's where you'll find her all the time. Yeah. yeah. Must have raised disgust. Yeah. And her, uh, her nephew works behind the bar, I reckon. Yeah, mate well. works behind the bar, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you big lad too. Yeah. 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 I was down there at the Black Friars game and uh, I was talking to Chris and I said, I'll just go and get a drink. And she said, I asked my nephew behind the bar. I walked in there and looked up at him. Gee, he's a big lad. He's a big lad, man, yeah. Mm. Hey, doesn't look, play footy? No, doesn't play footy. Should we get on to this week's yeah. games? Because uh, sure there'll be some crackers in there. Yeah. Central and, United Lockleys? Yeah, can Central United bounce back is the big question. Um, I guess this is a basically an elimination final for Central United because if they don't win, they will pull probably up to three games off the pace with four rounds to go and that would be too late for a man. I don't think they will win. I actually think, uh, I'm not sure Dutch you have them up and about, but Lockleys for mine will be too good. Too yeah. much part. I mean, all the talk, that every coach I've spoke to has, has read Lockleys, so there's obviously yeah. something good going on. Well, when we get to uh, Wayne, Dean Anderson, guys that uh, have coached against them. So Stephen's work even spoke yeah. to me and said that. Well, so I would go along those lines that yeah. Lockleys will get the chocolates. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one. It's always tough to go out there, essentially, at the Moffin Reserve out there, because it's such a funny shape, though, when you've got a cricket pitch halfway across the wing. Um, Throws a few blokes off, but mm. both sides, okay. Central United going to try and bounce back. Woodward's back this week, which is a big in for them, but I, I, I'm tending to push towards Lockleys myself. Mm. And just quickly, while we're on Central United, uh, Phil Hall, Philip Hall, tell us just a little bit about him. I haven't seen him play. He's a gun. He's a gun. He's, he's a gun. Just, yeah, is he tall? Is he small? Uh, is he short? Is medium he size, medium yeah. size, but just smart. Yeah. Really smart. Does he play as the key post forward, or is he. Plays out of a pocket. Yeah. Um, they kind of rotate a little bit, yeah. so um, you know I, I tried a couple of blokes on him last week. I think man, kept him down to four, which I was kind of happy with that. Yeah. Um, after kicking ten nine the week before or something. Ten nine. Ten nine. He kicked the week before. Um, right. So you know, but yeah, no, he's one that I certainly earmark every game we play. Nice. Uh, uh, Houghton and Trinity. Lady Amazia. Yeah. Trinity. Even though it's up at Houghton. Yeah. That, Trinity will win that. That'll, easy. that'll bring it ten goals closer. I guess when yeah. you lose your best player in Liam Davis for the year and you're already struggling, you're only going to struggle a little bit more. Uh, good luck to Benny Hunt and the boys. I hope they can. Uh, at least they've had a couple of wins. There's a lot of teams floating around that haven't had yeah. wins this year. So, but it's Trinity for mine. Yeah. Yeah. Trinity for me too. Blackfriars and Adelaide Uni. You have to go for Blacks. On form, they're playing better. They're starting to get a few players back, I believe. So. Uh, Dean will have them all fired up ready. Yeah, like, like yourself, Nolsey, Dean Anderson, um, 
He, my, the perception he created on me is, uh, is he coaches for the club, not for himself. He's not a self-indulgent person, and uh, the way he's got these boys running around, they, they are a good team unit, and I think they can do a lot of damage in the finals, whether it's Fock Vu or the Hillman boys, uh, Matty Brinkat, good bunch of lads, and uh, I think, uh, I guess you call Adelaide Junior inconsistent at best, so mm -hmm. Black Friars from one. Yeah, especially especially at Black's home ground too. That's um, always that smaller oval. They play it so well. Yeah, um, yeah I reckon it'll be a bit of a blow out today in Black's favour. Perhaps yeah. I'll head across to the aquatic centre, some yeah. water resistance recovery yeah. training. Yeah, they might too. Well, they have a licence here now, so it might work for the Yeah, that's, which is good news for yeah. them, isn't it? Well, yeah. you must have watched um, a juggernaut of television to yeah. find that out. Yeah. No. <laughs> I was here with the interview with the Oh, okay. Yeah, you idiot. <laughs> oh, he gets around um, Can Kenai Gardens yeah. of Woody South? Yep. Woody South, lay down was there. Yeah, Woody South coming off a loss, you wouldn't think they'd lose two in a row. Um, I wouldn't allow that to happen. Well, sometimes it's how you control. And Colonel White Gardens have won five in a row, which is fantastic form. It's pretty good form. It's as good as you've got in the last five weeks. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, Woody South just... Last week's loss would have... Bomber would have given them what hell... I see, I'm um, no, you think of Colonel Light Gardens, aren't you? Yeah, yep, yeah. yep, bloody oath. Yeah. Five I, I think Zoichi's got him, he's got him going real well. Mm. Um, you know, the way that when they came out and played us a couple of weeks ago, you know, they were they were so hard at it. Um, it was such a, yeah, it was a really good game. It was quite shattering that we didn't get over the line. But I reckon down there, I reckon Colonel Light will give him, you know, will knock him off. Mm. Very, very good game. And the match of the oh. game. Oh. Uh, match of the day. Match of the day. Strike, Mawson Lakes, Riddlers. Uh, against the Knowles juggernaut. Oh, this is going to be some chick, some Sheila's going to be out there with tits yeah, out for the boys, yeah. basically. Tits a lovely day. <laughs> tits, tits a lovely day. day. Look, last time round you had them, and uh, they just got over in a, a, by a goal, and yeah, like, I mean, the, the male, once you had them all day, that you were up all day, weren't you? We, should, we shouldn't have lost that one. Yeah. yeah. So obviously you can match up on them all right. It'd be interesting, I mean, it's going to be a little bit of a distraction when you've got some supermodel walking around in body paint. It'd be interesting to see if the boys are up and about. Might they, be a few pole vaulting around. They had their first <laughs> They had their first win last week, but I'm not sure a win against Houghton, how good a preparation that is. I reckon the budget says 61 to yeah, 72. I don't I agree with that, that at all. It'd be a goal yeah. or two either way. Um, we know who wrote that, who wrote that though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a biased opinion. Yeah. Yeah, look, I know. You, look, if, if you win this one, mate, you could actually almost jump out of the relegation zone. The question is, do you think you can win? I, yeah, for sure. I really do. Um, if my, my boys are up and about, the problem with us is the gap between our good and our bad is so far. Um, we're trying to narrow that down. Um, if they're up and about like they were last week, yep. I can tell you right now that, um, you know, Mawson Lakes better be ready because. Uh, we're going to give it one out of the crack. Should That's be a great right. game uh, down at Molson. Nearly as good as the game that'll be at England Farm, but we'll get on to that later. Uh, interesting couple of, just reading the budget quickly, just skimming it. I love this name. Chouth. <laughs> That's his name. Chouth. <laughs> Who's he played for? He plays for Molson Lakes. And how about the quote? <coughs> Robert, I'm super, just ask me. O'Gorman. Mm. <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you who is being paid very well for them is Lazy. He's uh, putting together games every week, week after week, and playing pretty good footy. Yep. So he may be yeah, a Brad little Lees. bit of a it's not that difference. Big. Little Brad Lee's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, looking good. Yeah, look, I'm going to tip Mawson Lakes by yeah. a goal again to break your heart, Nolsey. Yeah. Sorry. Thanks, Tommy. No, yeah, no. I, was, I was looking at Nolsey's shirt here, and yeah. he's got Sprint Auto on there, Adelaide Freight, uh, Fun Life, and who's that? Kmart. K Trans. Patron, who's that? Uh, someone here might be the state manager of them. Ah, <laughs> so Hub Size and Young Company, that's good. Uh, we, Nothing wrong we, with that. Um, there's a group of us that went out over summer and got a heap of sponsors into the club. Um, as you see in yeah. our balcony there, we've yeah. actually sold each window mm. um, with electrostatic signs on there that stick up there. That's excellent. Yeah, so we raised a bit of cash. It is important to a club that uh, you get sponsors in. You yeah. can't can't run on an oily rag. I mean, canteen, you can rely on old Chris and the canteen, but gee, you still need more. You need more, mate. Yeah, exactly right. Now, I'm looking forward to the 23rd of August. I've actually got to get my ticket, because yep. I reckon it'll be a sold out in that club rooms. Yeah, tickets are selling pretty and, good, And yeah. um, I need you to hold one for me, because I'm coming along that night. Got some in the car, actually. Um, good, well, I'll catch you before you go. Because uh, definitely coming down to listen to the fifth. Boy, I... I actually went and watched him over at uh, Yarrawonga 
when I was over there over the Easter break and uh, gee whiz, that guy, he's, he's still got it. And uh, great night, and I believe there's a check at Mawson Lakes today, may very well be there as well. Well, yeah, the, that's, the um, they're trying to get someone to sell some raffle tickets on the night, so that's been thrown around a little bit, yeah. yeah. Oh. So that'll be a good night for Ingle Farm, so anybody out there wants to see the fev, yeah, that's the place we'll to be. We'll promote that a lot more as time goes away. Look, yeah. Nozzy, thanks very much for being on the show. Any players you want to give a rocket to or any form of shout-outs or um, No, not really. Yeah, just that's, um, you know, thank the boys for what they've done so far this year and we've just got to work a bit harder and, you know, success will come. And mm. avoiding relegation, obviously, is the goal at this that's stage. That's the number one goal at this stage. We, uh, you know, look, it's, it's within grasp now. We uh, hasn't been the year that we were hoping for, but there's signs there these kids are developing so well. Um, and that's the main thing is that we, we continue to stick with these kids, and I will. I'll stick with these kids, and um, well, the future certainly, you know, especially after wins like last week, the future yeah. does look good up there in the farm. Well, well Excellent destiny's stuff. in your hands, mate. We hope you can uh, knock off more some legs today and they, and just nudge uni into the relegation zone. That would put a smile oh, on my face. Would it work? Okay, David, do you know what we're listening to? Wow, FM, Thank 100 you point. Uh, and even better than you. You, uh, Get the hand off your dial. Yes, you've been uh, listening to Saturday Game Day with Wayne Knowles, coach of Division 6 Ingle Farm Bulldogs. It's